from Breeze. He'll drop the bomb on the bomb, so they have no idea where he is, Chad. This is all falling apart. This is Breeze of old right now, just doing work as the bomb will get planted towards the back of the silos on the site. Now, they are clamped in. One from Hunt, two from Main, one from the Heavens. It's Martinez and Davi G to fight out of this. It's, well, not cage for long. Davi and Martinez both strike. Now, Martinez, 16 bullets, lock in hand, dancing left and right. That's going to be a good night. Nealon will scoop up the kit, get the defuse, and great shooting from Breeze there. Three for him. He's getting fired up about that one. Uh, do yeah. you want to know about uh, the law number two? Or it's not a law, it's a principle. I would love to. Uh, principle number two, always be grateful. And obviously, I'd be grateful for that plant because it means that they can force buy. <laughs> I like where this is going, Chad. You're absolutely right there. Sure, the, the pistol run didn't go in their favor. They had no idea where Breeze was, to be honest with you, as uh, he picks up three kills in total. But you're right. The bomb being planted does enable quite a strong force buy in the second round here. We've got an AK-47 for Martinez. Albeit about the helmet, a couple of Galils, and uh, some Tech Nines to boot as well. So they've got every chance to win this round. It'd be great if they did, uh, but uh, we'll see whether they can infiltrate the defense here. Have the Cedar Green Nuclear Power Plant. A couple of smoke wall dotted towards Yard here. You can see that plume just in front of Alex here, ushering him down towards the secret stairs. Now, oh, he's going to get cut off at the knees there. Automatic and Cert combined will remove that prong and. A very good idea, idea now for Nealon that the fight's coming. Cirque's here as well, and that's a big dig. Fortunately, Cirque can get one. Nealon can drop down, and now he just needs to survive, allow the rotation to come through. That's enough. They've done well there. Got a little bit awkward, of course, with the frag they received and a dink towards Nealon, but he just needs one more here, and he'll be absolutely fine. They have detected his presence, however. They know he's low as well. The MP9 at range, not known for it. Uh, we'll be picking up the penultimate frag here. Just Dabby G. They know exactly where he is now towards ramp. I'll get to recover an M4, we'll see. But uh, for now, waiting for mistakes. He's not completely tunneled into having to head towards this B bomb site. If you'd like, back towards lobby is still open. You can see that position of automatic here. As we stay on Davy G's perspective, automatic is over towards this CT box. Great cam here just to show that he's covering off between the heaven and hell. Now, Davy G will continue the walk down. The peak from Hexed gets them the information, the shot through as well. And now he surges forward just to drop into the hands of Nealon for this one to be done. Davi's done some damage. A lot of it. And you need to be careful of this. Spam through even more harassment as Hex will get the kill. But can he get to a rifle upgrade in time? Yes, no. he can. Oh, did he? Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, Galil there. Oh, Nealon with the Galil, Hex with the MP9. And uh, right now, for the Movistar Riders, they need to seek solutions, not problems, into round number three. We'll see what they can make of it. No bomb plant there. A decent effort towards ramp. Doing a lot of damage, but uh, no plant found. Has to be the eco for now. A couple of deagles in the mix, and uh, they have been quite potent with them, to be honest with you. We'll see whether they can find any outside opportunities. Grenades deployed. There towards Silo as well. That's going to be a chance for Martinez, but an incredibly difficult shot to land. Starting to take damage now. The MP9s looking to feast. Farm the cash up. Don't necessarily want those for the first gun round, so be happy to put their life on the line. Three of them here, they're just gonna fight, flash forward, step on out, and popping heads like watermelons here. Great shooting, sir. We'll go right. down, Mopos too, so here's a solution, not a problem for the riders. Well, they've committed towards outside now with Martinez towards the main roof position. Still up against three rifles, unable to gather their own just yet, but there is a smoke available there, as you can see. Let's see whether they can cause any further damage here, taking quite a lot himself. Mopos down to 46, Martinez at zero. Reload's not going to help him out. And there it is, three players surviving once again, and 3-0 for EG overall. Looking to close things out early as they kick off their CT campaign in amazing fashion. All right, well, the fourth principle uh, okay, of optimism let's get into it. is uh, always believe it's possible. And although it's not possible to get out of the group stage, it is possible to build the foundation for future tournaments. Precisely. That's the so, framing that we're looking for here today, Henry. <laughs> absolutely. And uh, they have put up a good showing today. They didn't win the first map. It's some fantastic rounds for them. Just trying to build that synergy and uh, work on the team with the addition of Martinez, of course. He hasn't got the sniper rifle this round. We'll have to operate with the AK-47. But decent map control for Alex. As confirmed, there's no players in close proximity. Gap it's a defensive in that. hold, and there's a massive gap. It's the Grand Canyon, I think we call that level of yeah. gap. Yeah, well, that doesn't help at all. And the thing is, that's valuable information. Sure, you didn't see anyone, but that's the whole prospect, right? You didn't see anyone, so you can confirm that or down towards Secret. That will force the fight, and I dare say Neelan's going down there. Timed it well, and that's even better. Serve with the collateral shot. 
Takes down Davi G and Mopez. All their efforts in vain towards ramp. Four versus three. Martinez towards ramp with the bomb. He'll be joined by Deaths as well. Alex alone outside as they reconfigure the CT setup here down towards lower. Decision making from Hex here just to tuck in. Should be good for one. That's the bomb dropped and some damage done onto Deaths as soon as they negate this position of Alex. If they can negate it, there is. Oh, a problem elsewhere. It was automatic down towards the lower deck there. Drops that bomb and it is just Alex in a one on three. Make it a three on none as that's going to be a 4-0 start. Yeah, about as good as it gets to be honest with you. Three players surviving once again. Two of them with AK-47. Cirque, of course, with the AWP. Smiles all round. Can't ask for too much. You on the fifth principle? Oh, of course, just keep going. How Only many are there? Seven? Seven. Okay. Only focus on you and what you can control. Well, they can't control their outcome here, Movie Star Riders, but they can control their performances today. They can make sure they turn up, they're competitive, they're passionate, and uh, that's all they can do, right? And we're seeing it. So uh, let's see what they can make this one. Another upper rush down towards the vent, taking a lot of damage on route. The bomb is down. The rotations will have to come through from the CT side, ideally from ramp, as they go for the safe plan. They've actually got it down. This this could be deadly. It's that sounds problematic. like smoke and a molly here, Henry. This actually could be on. If they can deploy these last two pieces of utility very swiftly and find a kill. In the meantime, Neil appears forward. Will take down Martinez. The harassment, thick and fast. The trade not there just yet. Depths has grabbed one in the meantime, but the automatic double up. That could be it. That could be the difference maker here. There's just the one man of Davy G down towards the double doors and he's peppered away automatic. So there's an opportunity. Time starting to become a bit of an issue here. They've got to get on that defuse very soon. There'll be a smoke deployed towards the double doors, but he still has vision of the bomb here. Has to go for the defuse now. Needs a bit of covering fire from his teammate. Out of ammo. And that's not going to be the round going in their favor. But, uh, oh, actually, Chad, he didn't have a kit. Oh, no, kit on the defuse. There was a kit right near the bomb. There was a kit right near the bomb. What a what? mess. Zerg's got $7,000 and didn't have a kit. Sounds like someone we know. Yes, I know exactly who you mean. He might be part of the server right now. Don't say his name too loudly. Oh, dear. Um, sure, we knew it was getting tight for time, but we assumed he had a kid at that point. They're, they're four zero up, and he's got seven thousand dollars. And there was a kid right next to the bomb as well. Just yeah, watch uh, this fall off Tim's body here. Oh, that's a bit of a nightmare. Well, there it is. That's the first round from Movistar Riders turning up, and around you might not expect them to win. They are gifted. The lack of defuse kit there. Oh. It's going to be Martinez towards Neelan once again. This time not really doing any sort of damage towards him. So ramp room should be completely open. Can confirm that now. Great second shot. That's crazy that that fumble, that one round, that mistake. Oh, hold up a second. Breeze has just found himself in between the two. Bomb. At the lobby. The bomb's oh, down. Another kill towards three. Yard. It was a fantastic start. Another. Oh, lights it up. Another five on three. Can you believe uh... it? They can still win the round, of course. Just the odds against them now. Breeze tucks himself in in the T lobby. X to back him up. They've got full bomb control. Just didn't see that reactive play coming in from the North Americans. Plenty of time. Martinez already with two kills in the round, but is it all in vain? That's the question. They have flashbangs. And HE and Martinez would just have to provide covering fire for his teammate Davy G. How do they get this bomb? They can't isolate the lobby at all. They have no smoke. And it's such a prime position for Breeze. You do very well to take him down here. Good shoulder peak, baits out the shot, but unfortunately now Martinez, he's been rumbled, mollied off, and just having to go for the wall bags now. And unfortunately for him, as soon as he gets back here, indeed automatic is waiting for him. That's a five on three where they don't get any follow-up frags there. That is a that is a shame right there. I, I suppose know. it's fortunate considering the right. round they lost. Was, Let's get to the next point of optimism and see um, where we can find anything with that round. We can solve it. Yeah. Um, do the work to make it possible. They did the work to make it possible with those two frags, Chad. Unfortunately, um, apparently wasn't enough. Five on three, and you don't get a single kill in response. Uh, that's a bit of a shocker. Very nice work from Breezy, but uh, Galil from Opos. He always goes against the grain, it seems. <laughs> see what can be done here. Alex, 06, his outside presence hasn't done much for them so far. Ooh, it's incendiary. Yeah, that one being missed is a bit of a drama. Any gaps in the smokes to report? Maybe. Crossing over now. I think there's a chance. That, right? Yeah. You could have maybe seen over the top, but uh, they'll obviously hug the smoke and automatic might time this very well. If he looks behind him now. Just keep on down. So it's bad info for automatic here, but 
He would assume there's presence down there, though, right? If he heard that molly tick onto Alex, which is why he's on 67 points of health, then sure, hexed. He's, he's seen them all. Wide open door, let them pass. He's not going to pivot. He didn't spot him, though. He's already been run down. And grabs Alex. Neelan can only deliver one here from the top ramp side. It will just be hexed. I think he'll thrust himself forward. Denies the plant. A great little round from hexed here. Denies the plant. Good stuff. Yeah, very well handled. Manages to get himself a couple of kills. He spotted all the players crossing towards window. I don't think they saw him, though, so he was preemptively ready. Called the assault towards a single door. Just more boss now, as mentioned, did by the Galil. But uh, they do have maximum loss bonus. He still has $1,300. Absolutely fine. It's not really much he can do here. The money's pretty weak on the CT side, but uh, with the Galil in hand, you don't fancy his chances. Breeze will take him down. He's having a fantastic showing so far. Really woken up the last couple of days, and I believe we do have the final points of optimism here, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you write this one down. This is a good one here for all of you at home. Love fearlessly. Okay. We all love Counter-Strike fearlessly. It's the reason that everybody in chat right now, the players in the server, us here at the commentary desk, we get out of bed in the morning, is to love this game fearlessly. I think that's a nice way to round it off. I, I'm feeling more optimistic already. Maybe not for the chances of Mobistar Riders, but in general. I'm sure we can all well, learn pushing. something. It's the fake Molly straight through. Breeze will find an opener. Cheeky. I love it. Molly in between the door. They think it's the hut Molly, and you're in their face. So it's an opening kill, but just one. And the question is, is it enough? And, of course, disguises your footsteps as well, right? So it's a very interesting play. Speaking of which, Alex making himself in towards the main entrance. He was doing this a lot yesterday. Unfortunately, losing the man advantage. Another three versus one. Martinez, or Martinezzi, as he's known. In some circles, we'll be heading towards ramp. Uh, it's yet to catch on. It hasn't caught on just yet. I, I've not seen anyone using Martin Easy, but uh, maybe if he wins this one, Chad, it could be onto something. Well, Cirque's just given him a gift there. Uh, completely unaware that this was possible. Now, Martinez fakes the plan. The door swing open straight to the face of Automatic, Ooh, who nice idea. fortunately pulls out his rifle in time. Seven to one. And running away with this half are oh, the evil geniuses. This is great, right? And, and look, this is not necessarily the hardest opponent for them to be up against here of a uh, a battered Movistar Riders, considering all of the, the context of the situation that's been around them. The win yesterday was against an Eternal Fire as well, who I suppose by qualifying for Rotterdam over a team like Entropic, they, they should be a name on our radar here, but they yeah. had some up and down moments as well. Eternal Fire, they'll be playing just after this matchup against Liquid. And uh, the final match of the event for EG is where we're really going to have to see what type of team we have because they play against Furia. Now, Furia could qualify today with a victory over Cloud9, which means that maybe in that last game they won't be playing with all the source. Sure. But uh, still a win there for EG or a map for EG would be great. Now, Automatic will find the timing against the pistols. There's one and it's done. Nice effort. Lovely move. Was certainly worth more than one, I would say. Hext will be granted an opportunity to hit that mop boss there. Unfortunate for him, just trying to sneak down towards the vent as his teammates found access towards lower by virtue of secrets. But uh, for now, though, once again, Neelan in a great spot. He doesn't miss these ones. Primed and ready, rotated down towards the ramp and uh, gets himself towards the window. So another four versus two, Martinez and Davi G remain. Again, just hoping mistakes will be presented to them. But if anything, Breezy's got the perfect spot. And uh, they made light work of it. Eight to one, money. Healthy once again from obviously our riders. Not in a great spot, but they can bring out the full buy. Martinez can bring out the AWP as well with $6,000. We'll see if he's that way inclined. Apparently, he's not. He's going for the AK. And uh, I love this move Gosh. from Automatic. Should have got two, but uh, still, they win the round. No harm, no foul. Hex closing things out there confidently with the AK. This is actually going to do wonders for EG in the rankings if they do pick up this series because Movistar Riders right now, I think they're fifth in the world, which... Uh, oh, yeah, look, it's it's because we're coming out of the season with a lot of group stages, uh, so the, the HLTV haven't been able to update this in an efficient manner. It will change a lot once the group stages come to a close, and Cirque's here to... Make sure it doesn't get too out of control towards ramp. One back will get him up to six kills. He is trailing the pack for his squad at the moment now. Now, does he want to continue to tussle or dip to a bit more of a passive stance? EG are the ones who have to respond in this four-on-four four with some information, and Hex has exactly that. Yeah. He pushes in towards a squeaky door. Breeze will cover his back from main. And Ramp not under too much scrutiny right now. It's automatic that's got himself in towards the warehouse. I like this, because if they come back up secret, they will have to cross that angle to get into main. Yeah, it's a good point. It's Alex who's probing towards outside, I believe, and this is a key moment now. Hexed, 
Could be a double spray down. Could be absolutely nothing. Well, there it is. It's the form up. Bomb goes down. This smoke doesn't really matter here. Alex was down in towards secret, as Chad mentioned, and he'll have to rotate out now. Doesn't even know where he could be with that silencer. Assuming he's towards the warehouse, and indeed he is. A very, very clean round for EG, though. Only one player drop. That's Neelan. It's really hard to measure what EG are doing better while Movi are not doing anything that's getting them in it. The only round they won is with Tech 9s, and that's because Cirque didn't have a kit, right? Yeah. So let that sink in for a moment here. But I, I like some of the ideas that EG are floating with this re aggress towards lobby, Hex hitting a couple of nice shots. I, I think if you were to take a look at the scoreboard right now, you would see that it is a team effort. Hexed on 13, 12 for Breed. ...ball version of themselves, but unfortunately it's been anything but. Had some decent rounds, sure, but not really close to a map victory and overpass. And now... Things in complete dire straits here. 9 1 down on their map pick, unfortunately. Automatic primed and ready once again, as they do successfully make it down towards Seeker, however. So, Mopos is in main. Oh, has he got there from Squeaker? Yeah, it's, but, a, uh, it's a Mopos move. Oh, Automatic has no idea. He does have so much space. So, this is a great play from Mopos here if he could find some action. They will consider the fact that Secret is given up. They won't consider this. Now, Freebie. <gasps> no way, Cirk turned back just in time. Misses the shot, now they understand where the leak is, where the gap is, and a shot from Alex's Deagle. Could be enough unless Hex has something to say. In the vent, needs to fight, fighting forward into Davi, and well, the two rounds the riders are looking opposed here are just with pistols. Yeah, apparently so. Lower bomb site completely open here in the four versus two. Breeds down to nine points of health as well. Automatic, pretty far removed from the situation, but it all starts here. They'll probably go for it, to be honest with you. Knowing they're up against the light to buy, but that should confirm it. Breeds will have no chance now. The run and gun of the Tech 9 silences. Automatic and Breeze will just have to save the AWP. So you're right, Chad, the two rounds they've picked up so far. Uh, by virtue of sneaking through the gaps found, exploiting them, it takes a lot of hard work to even find those gaps. So well done to Mopos especially, but uh, yeah, needs to start replicating that in the gun rounds. Yeah, can still get a 9-6 half here if they continue that form going forward, but uh, twice through the fingers. Maybe it's the speed wobbles as uh, Martinez will find himself his AWP. Ripped out of the cold, dead hands of Breeze and even a nade for good measure. So solid that they were able to pull this off. And it wasn't just like a scrim around. It was a, a manufactured opening through utility. So great stuff from Mopoz here to find this timing. Good impact from him and a great shot from the Deagle of Alex to get his second kill. There was some sort of level of understanding from Cirque that that was possible. He came out scoped to that one. So automatically must have communicated like there, there has been a gap. I haven't been able to see absolutely everything at least. That's uh, as mentioned, the money was very strong with the CT side, but it could be broken if they can win this follow-up round. They've got Martinez on the AWP this time, looking towards main entrance. Doesn't spot anything to kick things off. Smoke will remove all vision now. Mopos will confirm that. As well. Find the first kill onto death there from Automatic, and now it's just about consolidating this number advantage. A little bit curious with Davi G's position now. Nobody has rotated towards the lower deck. I, I suppose the biggest issue for poor Davi is he's going to have to make a sound cue if he wants to make any real ground. Yeah, absolutely true. His teammates aren't around to shoot out any windows at the same time either. We'll see what he decides to do here. This is the problem. The windows have not been broken. And we've got Neelan rotating in as well. He's aware of the potential prospect, but maybe not going to be looking towards it whatsoever. Okay. An opening now, three on three. Mopos beneath the heaven position as well, looking to isolate the orb. That's patrolling ramp. So Breezy needs to be a little bit more active here. Get some intel. They desperately need it. Next kill could decide the round. Back up secret with the bomb. It's now loose, but that's the kill back from Mopos here. Cirque in a one on two. This is the time to earn that paycheck. Cirque. We're trying to decipher which bomb site will be the end, and should be this A site. You can see them scampering in now with 10 seconds. I don't know if he's got it in him. It doesn't look good. A player towards heaven, a default plant as well. We need him to overstep the mark, kick things off. There's a tick of damage as well. I don't think they heard it. But uh, doing everything they can to fend him off, and they know he's got the AWP as well. You're not going to be checking these sort of angles. Run the clock down. You don't need to hunt for information. You've got Mopos there defending you. If he does encroach in the position, and uh, Sir, probably finding that out right now. Yeah, and the money is not amazing. Instead of being strung a couple of rounds together, they could break the finances, which they have. He has to go towards T-Spawn. Couldn't save in the previous round. Will they be hunting once again? Oh, they are. Oof. Might be a bad hunt here. They could lose both guns, or Daddy G might try and get this AWP away. Up the ladder for the hunt. Sir's got plenty of space here. So it's difficult for an orb to retake the top site, right? It's, it's, it's not going to be easy at all, especially if you're coming through lobby. So a difficult one there for Cirque, and you can see he made the correct decision by opting for the save. 
now they at least have something to operate with here in this next round, round number 13. But I don't know what they're going to buy around. It might just have to be a save. Hats off to Blade there, keeping the morale high, making sure the players know they did a very good job there. And indeed, they will be saving on the EG side. Just the AWPs and PT50. So 9-6, still very possible, but a nice little run boost here up and towards the... Run boost on run boosts. Oh, it's a flashbang that saves them, though. Sir so can't connect the dots. And here come the smokes and the utility you would expect. In terms of manpower behind it, just Alex and Davy G starting to peel off. Alex is more than comfortable here, though. Loves to duck and weave around these smokes, find those gaps, tends to exploit them. Speaking of gaps, Sirk's trying to create one. Pushing in towards the hub right now. Can he get anything done? They've called the huts clear. So, Davy G, unfortunately, gets nothing done. And it's a two-man stack with a boost, I believe. Make it. Bomb goes down. This is awkward now. How do they deal with that boosted player? Well, they will deal with the sniper at least. That's a great kill to find. Just one more now in the form of Neelan, but he's got the AK-47. Two versus one. Bomb, well within his remit. Has to play heads up, I would say, as they start to swing in. They're ready for him. Still a chance, but it's fading away the closer they get. Tucks himself in, trying to isolate the fights if possible. Oh. And with no armor, that's going to be it. Alex will shut him down. Decent effort there. Good stack. Yeah, good attempt. Definitely a good attempt. It was just that one AWP here. I was ready to shout Neil on land. That could be his, uh, be his moment in the sun. The moment but, that would have uh, been. Couldn't be. And 9-6 is becoming ever more likely here. It will be a buy out from EG, but... Going into that final round of play, it's going to be a bit sketch, a bit touch and go. Well, well, well. Round 14, Molly Star Ride is making this one very competitive now. Four will do. Five would be great. And we're going in. Deep breath, boys. Davy G leading the charge here. He's busted through that initial Molotov there. Doing a very good job with the AK 47s. They completely decimate. The upper bomb side here, Chad. Four versus one. Neelan can do nothing about it. This is much more like it. I love the pace change there. And there was three bodies tossed towards that top side to try and deal with things. Just completely overwhelmed by the sheer pace of the riders now finding themselves here. In the late stages of this, Neelan misses a shot or two and gives up his position. He'll go down to Alex, who's been looking cleaner. That's two kills for him in the round, up to seven in total. And starting to get a little bit fiery between the ranks here. Up all round and feels... A couple of Famuses, a Scout, two MP9s. It's likely we get to highlight real again. Everybody we flung to there was immediately dead. So great shooting out of the Riders. And the round was over at a minute 40. Well, if you remember, this half kicked off with uh, an upper rush from Movistar Riders. Didn't work out for them there, but uh, great success in round number 14. They're up against uh, a pretty ropey buy now for EG. Scouts, MP9s, Famuses. And an opening kill for Alex as well. Very assertive and confident play. Crossing over towards Secret quickly. Takes a lot of damage on Roots. But he survives. Bombardment of bullets there. Up to Cirque. As mentioned, only got the scout this time. So, Molotov to take away CT vision towards lower. In terms of presence there, they've got no CT players down whatsoever. So, this one could be done. As we'll see, 9-6 almost confirmed. 5 versus 3. Cirque dropped. The flashbang from main, but no one's swinging towards it. I love the detail of this. The smoke wall ice gets across. He does that Molotov that you highlight towards lower. That's going to draw a rotation. Then they drop the main smoke as well as the window smoke towards lockers. They scale up towards heaven quite quickly. Cirque has only got a few options of where he could stand. He gets pipped at the post by Martin. By Martin. <laughs> He's almost legitimately going to call him Martin there. By Martinez. And uh, now the round looking pretty much done. Up the pretty ladder. Much. Breeze. Slight timing on this, the gun, it wasn't out, and almost oh. the double up available, but Hex, he'll finish off what Breeze couldn't. An opportunity now. Yeah, more than an opportunity, three versus two. And maybe another kill to be found, Neelan though out of position, needs to be very careful, Martinez from the CT, Ben will take him down. Nine to six, pretty much locked in at this point, it would take something remarkable, and that's a good start. Hex with the spray of doom from heaven there, looking to smite down the opposition. Alex low as well. They know exactly where he is. He has no utility. He needs to get a quick kill if possible. Not going to happen. Nine to six. For these two optimistic fellows on the casting desk as we're rushing Rab with pace straight in towards Davy G. He's going to have to take a few shots and fall. The chase is coming as they ascend or descend towards the lower side. Yeah. Now they're ascending 
Back up towards the ramp. Oh, it all oh, comes no. back in. Back and forth. This isn't a yo yo. Let's see what Neelan can make of it. Confirming the double doors are clear. Jumps in the fire a little bit. Wants to keep things spicy. Five and five for now. Look at them already. Yeah, everyone ready to fight his four CTs around this corner. Nice. And the dual elite will strike first. Looking quite good here, but Breeze mowing them down. Looking for the quad kill. Can't quite find it, but the damage has been done. Three on two, Defs and Alex now with it all to play for. A must win pistol, I would say, and it's all in the hands of Alex, the in-game leader. Knows where one player is. That's going to be Circa at the back. That's got to deal with automatic as well. A formidable duo. And, uh, oh, I was about to say, it looks like it's done and dusted, but he found the kit here. He'd have to do something tremendous at this stage. Find a very quick kill. It's now the defuse right here, right now. Automatic gives him a chance, but confirms he's not at the bomb. That's going to be round over. Very well played. So, uh, got a step ahead or two of himself yeah. there by leaping out from behind the box. Those pistols. I think you could have been safe behind that, uh, that box. Absolutely. Right there, I said, sure. well, so this round's over. He's behind the box. He'll have to fully commit to even find you. Why do you need to run towards the bomb side? He went to make it interesting. Way. It was interesting. An interesting decision, I suppose, but still, they win the round. They're saved by Breeze. Yeah, massive 3K from him. So, some good work on the pistols again here for Breeze, where he's some of his absolute best highlights. But we are getting back underway here with a force bite from the Riders. Just to note, Alex did survive with Kevlar there, and finding a couple of kills okay. it enables him to get an M4A1S. Okay, who dropped him that? Did he buy it himself? He has enough cash he, invited, money, he, so. he invested 2900 and bought a decoy, so yeah, he bought it himself. You love the cheapness. Navi G. Oh, that's a perfect shot. Can even find a double here, which he absolutely does. Excellent work. A man advantage and rushing ramp and that sort of round. Don't love it. We'll see if they can pick up the pieces. Yeah, two massive scalps there early. Breeze down and Hex down there towards the top of the scoreboard. 18 for Hex, 17 for Breeze. Now yeah. they have to operate without them against the unknown M4 of Alex here. So it wasn't looking good for Riders, but now it's looking a whole lot better. Yeah, that's a lifeline. I couldn't tell you why they've made that call to rush ramp. Can you see the barrel at all? I, I don't know. Maybe some quickness was the answer here, but definitely not the case. Automatic with a timing and a much needed shot. Has to worry about the scout of Martinez, who's just found himself in no man's land, pivoting towards the front of the box with a bomb shot towards lobby. Deaths with the swag seven upgrades into an AK. A two on two, however, but uh, I would say eight bullets. The advantage. For Morvistar, right? He said he has eight bullets. No, he's only he's only shot eight. Oh, bullets, okay. So he hasn't even been involved in the action. The round's say. basically been done without this investment. Bullets gone. All right, fair enough. Thirty seconds remaining. This is getting a bit desperate now. The bomb in a horrible position. They do have a Molotov and a smoke and another one to boot as well. To be fair, Death gives up his position here, trying to deny the plant and the recovery of the bomb, which he does to some extent. There's a lot of damage there towards Zerk. They'll have to head towards ramp and presumably go down towards lower, but time is ticking away. They got the plan very quickly. We have got Alex, who's rotating towards a single door right now. They're not going to get this down. I don't think they can. I think he's won the round already. If he just swings now, it's done. Planning it. Oh! Okay. Take what it all back. Shot. Take it all back. Well, now Dats has to touch. There's a kid in front of him. There's the first automatic. The kill is from the ramp. He's going to expect him still to be towards the ramp. Room and automatic swings out, finishes it off, steps up with four in the dire situation. That was looking ugly. And I don't what know how he hits shot. that shot. The smoke was down. It was through the smoke. The head shot. We've got to see it from his POV. So here he comes. He drops Seven, that smoke with a plant. Six. Patrolling five. towards that single door. Spots him oh. for a second. That's the play. They lose the round otherwise. He does absolutely everything there. You can see why Death isn't focused towards the side because you're not expecting another yeah. player to be pushed all that way down. A great round for Automatic. And Hex loves that. Big shout from him. Be talking to each other. Well... Death's the shotgun, pistols elsewhere, and a missed Molotov towards the huts. That's not the end of the world. That could be, but uh, dealt with. Neither will take down that first player with the shotgun. Five on three. They recover the Mag 7, which is about the most interesting part of this round, I'm afraid. Don't see too many of them these days. Used to be a bit of a mainstay back in the day. You say more Novas, purchases in Pro League so far. Yeah, the alligator as well, the auto shotty occasionally. It's yeah. That we've moved away from the shotgun meta. It's one of my least preferred. The SMGs, fine. Shotgun, yeah. I'm, I, I, you can keep them. You don't even really need them in the game, the same as in the Gev. Yeah, they tried to buff that, I guess, or modify it with the updates, but it uh, didn't really stick. I'm okay with how Counter Strike is right now. We have a little bit more diversity than we used to. 
in uh, 1.6 days, where it was AK, Galil, Famous, M4, MP5 Eagle, occasionally. USP, yeah, um, there was the only SMG you'd use. So you, you'd kind of throw it away for the gun rounds, you wouldn't even use it, you wouldn't yeah. hold on to it. You'd use it for the anti-ecos and then just throw it away. 100%. Well, a uh, couple more rounds, everybody, until this one is over and EG are looking great to try and pick this one up 2-0. Now, we will let you know that there is a world, it's not a very likely world, where EG could still qualify for the playoffs, but they require a lot of favorable results outside of just this. 2-0 would be a good start though, right? On It'd that campaign, 2-1, probably not ideal. A little bit more uh, walking on eggshells, if that's to be the case. Mopas has armor with the orb this time, Henry. That's an improvement. I guess it's one of the few maps it's still quite relevant on. You don't see it used too often, but it does make sense. These long range duels, and use that towards Rampor outside, of course. Speculative spam from Alex as he tries to detect the cross towards Secret. Here's Mopos of the aforementioned Org. Neelan, though, Ooh, trying to channel his inner Alex as he sneaks in towards main entrance. But Alex, he's seen all those tricks before. To a 4 and 4 though, automatic pulls one back. And that's here the, we go. That's the thing with those smoke gimmicks. One of the two is going to make their way through, and Deaths is only get one who, of the three, have just come through that wide open squeaky door. One will get planted. It's a miss smoke towards the heavens. Is that going to come back to haunt them here? The vent not broken for poor Davy. That one is going to be a rough pill to swallow. Yeah, so if you're not aware, you don't get any accuracy on the ladder. To exit the vent itself, you got to shoot it out and then be in a really tricky spot. That's unfortunate. He'll need his teammates to take the attention elsewhere first. Here's Alex, though, sneaks up towards heaven. That smoke would be about dissipating now, so maybe not the end of the world. They missed it. Shooting out the vent momentarily. Here he comes with the flashbang as well. Breezy catches a face full of it and gets legged in the process as well. This is actually very possible now. Automatic doing what he can to pull the round back. It's getting desperate. They have no kit. That know. Molotov should confirm it. Oh, the smoke. Ah, it's over. So you know kit, Henry. You were yeah. back on there. No time. Time management, a bit of a problem now. James needs to send everybody one of his lovely little stopwatches. Should really get in a, a watch sponsorship for James. That would be great. Or an alarm clock, you know. I'm Wake you up? Yeah, I guess. I'm not, I'm not really sure what I meant by that, but it, it's uh, maybe a bit more of an alarm clock. Yeah, okay. yeah, I guess we could have some of his, his uh, taglines. Yeah. He doesn't really have in English. He doesn't have any catchphrases, does he? We can flirt with them. We can, we, can, uh, we can make some up for him. Sure. I guess it's James time would be the main one. That's about it. It's not a bad one either. <laughs> yeah, that could, just that be, could just be it. That could be the alarm. Wake up, it's James time. James time. Not the strongest buy. There's been some uh, labored rounds for sure. But overall, come out on top. 4 0. As we see the all for Martinez. Maybe an upper execution here with two players on the roof. So to throw a molly. So maybe this is what I needed. Yo, can you throw the backside? Oh. Oh. Must be outside, right? Yeah. Well, they're still going to attempt the execute. Hot molly. Backside as well. Death's having a reposition for now. It is going to subside, but they're going to swing forward first. That's the bomb Down. forward. Not dribbled in towards the top side, just in towards the corner of the hut. Event dive. Okay, getting crazy with it now. Cirque's going to try and follow in Neelan's footsteps. It's a Neelan's, bit of a weird round. He's got some room, uh, but that's about it. They know where he is. And the bomb's loose. So with an opening kill from Automatic, the round falls apart, and we can uh, move forward to round number 21, please. Yeah, not the best. From EG here, it's up to Neelan to try and pull a couple of kills back if possible. Not going to happen. Three survive for Movistar Riders. Exactly what the doctor ordered for them. You can see they're still fired up, still hungry for victories here. Looking to prove themselves, bounce back after the 0-3 deficit to kick off the group for themselves. Round 21, as mentioned, the money desperately low actually for EG. So uh, this might be the full eco. Just uh, a few deagles, only breeze with armor. And uh, hopefully, we're going to get a plan down if possible. Okay, well, uh, we've got some people in the chat, Henry, who are applying for, for moderator positions. Okay. Uh, Any applications? Yeah, I'll let you know what they say. So, this message is my application to become a moderator. I have more than 35 messages sent in chat, and I've been here since the Among Us days. Old frog, un unironically. I've only been timed out twice, in brackets. Good boy. I love CS, in brackets. Poggers. And always watch TikTok. Please consider me. Well, the fact he always watches TikTok, that's enough for me. I've had enough. Get him on. Sign him up. I don't know if we have the power, but definitely I think we can we can push them up the list. Sure. We can refer him, right? Yeah, he we can know get a the couple approval. people. That's, uh, he does sound like a good boy. Either way, it's going to be two players dispatched up towards the ramp room. Davy G put in that org to good work. Five on three. No chance for plant, but maybe can salvage a rifle or two. Automatic. 
maybe in a position to do so. And a bit of damage here. A chance. The Org not looking as powerful as you would expect in this sort of position. It's what it's designed for. Should be fine. It's just you don't really have to face people. anymore. You've already done a lot of damage. Yeah, but you want to face. You want to face of so course. bad. You want to really take the fight. Okay. There it is. Clean right. Across the line. And across the line, indeed. 13 to 8. Uh, money's still not great, I'm afraid, for EG. It'll be another partial situation for them, which is fine. Alarm bell's not going off just yet, but a chance for Lobby Star Riders to develop their own funds. Your perfect weapon for the Ram Prime, I would say, but uh, wasn't completely displayed there. Davy didn't sell it. No. Uh, he might want to return his, actually, but uh, this little half buy is a something something. A nade for the squeaky door, I'm sure. A couple of key flashes, and away we go. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's a oh Stop. golly, Miss Molly, and uh, smokes everywhere. He's tunneled Ooh. towards the back of the side. It is going to come back to bite them in the ass here. Yep, it absolutely is. Oh, one I missed caramba. incendiary. Is that what Bart Simpson would say? He would say, "Eat my shorts, I caramba." All of that, really. Really, come up, Millhouse here. Yeah. That was uh, barely a partial buy. Some PZ-50s, a Tech-9, some Kevlar. In they go in the Mist Incendiary. <laughs> An open runway. Actually did end up costing. Yeah. Because that's exactly what the two key pieces of utility as your protocol utility is for. You want to molly towards the squeaky door and a molly towards heart so right. they can't just run out. Makes sense. Exactly like they did. They fumbled up. Got to learn these lessons the hard way, I suppose. Hearing me does happen every now and then, but uh, that's a clean round for EG. Came in with a little, but got a lot done. Two rifles recovered as well. Their money's right back on track. They're going to get $3,500 per player for winning the round via explosion. So uh, this got a huge cash injection. Let's have a look at him. No incendiary. Very nice. from Nealon. I had to extinguish that. Oh, so, yeah, that's oh, what, I was going to say, though. Like, why is that? Uh, how did they get the smoke down on the T side? I had no uh, idea. They had to extinguish it themselves, which did create a bit of a fortress, but they just came through with three players and mowed him down. That's the shocker. They know it as well. Can't be letting that happen if you could have any chance here of beating a team like EG. So, 14 to 8. Orbs out for Martinez. Decent buy. Some residual cash, but uh, not many rounds in the bank here. 14 to 8. Has to be a perfect game from this point forward. This is good signs out of EG here going into the RMR in a week and a half time. Now, we'll be competing in Stockholm, the Americas, against uh, some other heavy hitters. Liquid's in there. You got the likes of Complexity with good showing here. Obviously, we have Furia, Imperial, Zero Zero Nation, Pain. The list can go on. There's a, there's a lot of contestants out there, but EG are uh, one of the bigger orgs. So, Good to see them showing some form and getting a chance to get some officials in here in the format that EPO has. Five best of threes over the course of the week. Lots of reps. We've got Martinez, who's about to be tested down towards lower. They're aware of the cross towards secret. Good Molotov, though. Really does avert his gaze. Nothing he can really do. Can't stay there. Sure, he wouldn't be burned, but he'd be isolated after one kill. Automatic full control of the vents here. Flashbang now towards single door. Next shot for Martinez, could spell disaster, has to try and scramble away, which he will not do. Very well done. Oh, automatic hits East Jad. Not this time. All right, well, they still have this vent rotation covered off, so it must have been looking at the radar or something. In that juncture, Mopo's top of heart gets rumbled, and it is a two-on-three situation. Alex is trying to hit Hightower over and stall this out. There's 14 seconds, he can deny the plan, he can win the round, and doesn't get either kill. Target selection not on us. Davy G has to be the one to save this to avoid EG getting up to 15. It all starts with a flashbang that makes things very complicated for him. Breeze taking the opportunity to get actually on the bomb side itself. I dare say he'll close things out right here, right now. Great shot with the AK-47. There it is, ladies and gents. Series point for Evil Geniuses. I've got seven opportunities to close this one out. The money's going to be quite low on the CT side now. They're operating with a couple of FAMAS. 22 and Hex has 20, which is which is great. Uh, it's just, is that going to be, the, is that how it's going to stack up in the future? Do we need more from the AWP? These discussions and more need to have with, with more EG we get to see. I think that's been the sentiment of this tournament. It's been great to see the likes of Milan step up when he was required to. Breezy in great form as well. Automatic, as everyone expected, looking fantastic. It is Cirque. We do need to see a bit more from him. One of the absolute mainstays of the squad, of course. We'll see whether he can find any kills here as they look to close things out. Nice execution. 
does lead into the first two kills and automatic and breezy will be adding to their frag total that should be it the all coming at the fence is not ideal davi g keeping them in the round at least but mollied off towards heaven more and more utility being deployed towards main as well alex under a lot of pressure here not in a great spot either they have to go for it let's see if they can pull it off but smoke towards squeaky door obscure the vision of Cirque for now he rings out an op shot in the flash He's blind Alex momentarily, yet to be halfway gone, but we're almost there as he is through. Does hit the shot. Davy's found one in the meantime. It's just Alex, the in-game leader, needs to step up and stand tall, but he can.